One of the hardest things when you're first starting to learn a software is learning exactly what that button is and what it does. Hey everyone, this is Will Dahlia, Ableton Live Certified Trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today I want to talk to you about the most important place in Ableton Live and how it can help you learn Ableton Live faster than anything else. So let's get started. So when I first started using Ableton Live 10, I was using it in the beta period, there were certain buttons and certain features that I just didn't understand. You know, I would use it all the time, but I continually forget, for instance, what is this button? What the heck does it do? Well, then I remembered the most important place in Ableton Live, which helped me really quickly learn the interface of Live 10 and understand exactly what each button does. So what is the most important place in Ableton Live? That is InfoView. Now, InfoView is going to tell you exactly what a button is and what it does. Now, my favorite thing about it is it's gonna give you information about that, but it's also gonna let you know any keyboard shortcuts uh, that you can use to call up that feature. So for instance, right now I'm on this button, Again, I cannot remember what this is. Uh, brand new to Live 10, what the heck is it? The easiest way for me to figure out is to hover my mouse over a button and press Shift question mark. Pressing Shift question mark opens up InfoView down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and you see what the button is. It's the Capture MIDI button. It's gonna give you a brief description. Click here to capture the MIDI notes you just played, so on and so forth. And then if, if there's a keyboard shortcut available, it's gonna let you know what that keyboard shortcut is. So for instance, let's go to uh, the right hand side of the screen here, put our mouse on the MIDI button. And you'll see it's gonna tell us again, MIDI map mode switch tells us that it's gonna switch uh, 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 and toggle MIDI map on and off, MIDI map mode on and off. Then if you look down there at the bottom, that's where it's gonna tell you the keyboard shortcut, uh, Command M. And what's cool is it's contextualized to whatever platform you're on. So if you're on a PC, that's gonna say Control M. If you're on a Mac, it's going to say Command M. So you may be watching this and you go, Will, I've, I've used Ableton Live for years. I produce music uh, in it all the time. I use it on stage all the time. This was a dumb tutorial. I don't need to know this. Here's what I would encourage you to do. Leave InfoView open all the time if you're just starting, even if you've been using it for a while. Oftentimes, like I said, especially when I got onto Ableton Live 10, I left InfoView open for a while just to learn what all these new buttons are, uh, to go over here and go, okay, yep, I get it. I understand what that button is, what that does. So again, to call it up, put your mouse right over something, uh, shift question mark to open InfoView leave it open uh, as long as you possibly can. It's gonna really help you learn Live's interface, not just get in and do what you need to do, but really understand and learn, learn Live's interface, which is gonna make you work faster and more efficiently in the end. Now, if you wanna learn more uh, Ableton Live essentials, if you wanna learn more about the why behind Ableton uh, does certain things the way it does, then I would encourage you to head to fromstudiostage.com slash essentials. What I did is I put together a collection of our courses that are all focused on the essentials of Ableton Live. Again, if you've spent a lot of time searching YouTube for how to do specific things in live, but you wanna learn a little more about the why, why does audio respond this way? Why do I have to do this this way? What the heck am I looking at when I look at the interface? Again, head to fromstudiostage.com slash essentials. You'll see all the course content we have there that's gonna help you learn Ableton Live quickly, efficiently, and allow you to create a setup that's very stable that you can use to perform on stage. And while you're there, you can start a free seven day trial to get access to not just those essentials courses, but every single thing that we have. So stay tuned as we continue to talk about for the next few weeks, some of the essentials of Ableton Live that's gonna help you work faster and more efficiently than you ever have in Ableton. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next week. Take care. Bye.